Hey, good morning campers. Alrighty, um, I am getting ready to redo the serpentine belt on my 2016 uh, Porsche Cayenne Turbo S uh, with the 4.8 liter direct injected twin turbo uh, V8. Um, I decided to try, because it's the way I am, to save money. I went ahead and found the alternate numbers for the drive belts and I found two through Amazon. I found the Gates and the Deco. Both are names that I've been using for uh, pretty near 50 years and they, they've got my trust as far as quality and all that. So I went with them. And then the YouTube craze of a couple of years ago of soaking them in the uh, Space Polymer Super 303 Aerospace Protectant uh, finally caught up to me and I figured I'd give that a try. So the Gates is soaking right now. I'm actually using an old uh, Sam's Club Members Mark Ultimate Clean Dishwasher Pack package, uh, empty of course, and it is like the perfect size for almost every belt. I mean, look at that, it sits in there and it, it's, it's almost completely covered. I come by every once in a while um, I, I've let it sit overnight. I shake it a couple times during the day. Uh, I've already done the Deco belt, and this is what you see here. And it, um, this, this has actually been out in the air. I, I did this about a week ago, and uh, it's not slimy or anything like that. It does not have the dry feel that it originally had when I first took it out of the package, but it seems uh, it's got just a little bit of a sheen on a couple of the the top of the ridges there. Uh, just as a note, I've done this on my F350 belt. I did it in this exact same uh, tub. So this tub is like the perfect size. Uh, some people use a large coffee can, chock full of nuts, whatever it may be. And uh, w whatever works for you. But this one, I, I, I actually use not very much. I only filled it probably uh, just a little less than halfway. And once you push the belt down in it, I mean, look at that. It's, it's right on top of it. So there uh there you have it but anyway so i'm going to throw this puppy on there and see what we got the one is already on the truck and i've not had any issues with it so um we'll we'll see about this lasting forever on the belt or anything uh going back to the belts that i purchased um since these belts are literally half the price of the porsche oem belts I went ahead and bought two. I bought the Deco and the Gates just to see what kind of a difference there was. I figured, you know, what's the chance of, uh, uh, well, not what the chance, but wh why not? What's, it's worth the, the extra expenditure, two for one kind of a thing, a BOGO, if you will. But uh, the original thing I did notice when I, f when I first got them is there's a difference in the part number. Here's the Deco. It's a 6071134, and this is the Gates DK071135. So that immediately caught my attention. And when I got down and looked at the specs, this is a 15 16 inch by 114 inches at 1 8 inch thickness, or 24 millimeter by 2898 millimeters uh, if you want to go metric which I then did the research. Uh, Deco has the specs on their um, belt right online on the Deco website. And this is a 24 25 inch belt by 113.39 inches by 24 uh, uh, thick, uh, uh, of an inch thick, and which is the 24.38 millimeter um, width by 2880.1 millimeters long, and then it did not have a uh, specific thickness other than the 24.24 inch. Um, as you can tell, I think, if we put them side by side here, there is a difference. Um, it's extremely minor. I mean, we're talking just a couple of millimeters uh, off from one another. One is shorter, one is longer. Um, the which would explain, I guess, the 3.5 versus the 3.4. I'm guessing they don't make a DK071134 from Gates because, you know, maybe there's multiple fitments, which if you look at the Porsche OE belt, the Cayenne belt uh, fits the Panamera. Um, it, anyway, you can look at online. There's, there's tons of vehicles that it fits. But anyway, so there is a little bit of a difference between the belts. I'm going to put the Deco on first, which is the shorter of the two, and uh, see how that works. Um, I, I figure with expansion and, um, you know, from the heat and the stretching and, and riding in the pulleys and all that, 
This should not be a, a big deal. The, both Gates and Daco verified what Amazon says in the first place anyway, which is that these are guaranteed fit belts for my application. Um, so there you have it. It's uh, there, there we're at. But anyway, so my next video is going to be on uh, actually putting the belt on, and we're going to go to that next. But we'll uh, we'll see. I'll I'll keep updates going to see how well this um, this supposed trick to make these things last forever. Uh, goes or whatever. Um, again, you know, I, I bought the two. I figured I got a two for one special. I'm going to put the one on and the other one's going to go in the trunk by the spare tire and keep it just in case something ever happens, everything ever flies up in there and cuts the belt, nicks the belt or whatever it may be. Or this doesn't work at all and actually causes the belt to come apart. You know, that kind of a thing. Although uh, I have never heard of that. And uh, in theory, it makes sense. You're you're actually taking the the rubber... Uh, fiber material here and you know preserving it with a protect uh, protectant to allow the elasticity and um, the material to be much stronger and more resilient to stuff um, the uv protection obviously under the hood of a car uh, there shouldn't be any uv light getting up under there except for when you've got the hood open uh, unless some of you guys have created a uv sterilization sanitation system to where you put a uv bulb under there <laughs> <laughs> something along those lines or your car is getting so much sunlight uh underneath the hood that you know it, it's a very rare thing uh, i don't see what the uv part of it is but i do believe in the um uh the the moisturization and the treatment of the actual material it it, it could make sense what's the big deal again this thing i got off of amazon i think i paid 20 22 23 dollars for the gallon so and here I, i'm using literally just a couple of cups what could it hurt, right? We'll see. Anyway, so, alrighty. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video.